Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. It's the 17th of uh, May, 2023. I'm going to do something today I promised myself I wouldn't do uh, again, which is another video on uh, using card. Uh, I'm only doing this ostensibly because uh, somebody in our community asked me uh, for some tips on this particular approach. And I figured I might as well record it for the public as well. All right. So we want to go from a, uh, you know, kind of zero state to a published card state in five minutes or less. And in this case, we're actually using premium themes. So these are uh, free themes that you can edit if you have a Pro Plus account. Uh, they're available on uh, this site right here at the top, which you can see in the browser bar. It's called Work. And... Uh, you know, they have a whole shit ton of uh, great templates. But in this case, because this particular person in my community asked about uh, creating contact form landing pages for uh, his clients, I'm going to show you that. All right. So we're just going to go to start editing. And this is immediately going to bring this card up into my uh, personal account. And then I can start to make, uh, you know, really quick edits. And let's just show you what that would look like in real time. All right, so we're changing now the image here. We're going to change the name here. We're going to change a little bit of the text here. You can change these. I'm not going to do that here because it just feels like too redundant. I've covered this way too many times in the past. And then here is the form. This is the salient part of this process. You can choose a sign up form, custom, or contact. Again, this particular person uh, was interested in creating, uh, you know, landing page contact forms for his clients who are uh, advertising on Instagram. And you have, you know, tons of different options here, not tons, but you have a few. You can on redirect uh, or on completion, you can show a thank you page. You can redirect to a URL. Uh, you can run code, which I don't know what that does, or you can do nothing. In this case, we're going to actually uh, just leave it at the thank you uh, page. So folks would get a thank you message after they uh, fill out this form. And you can also, I mean, what I generally would do though is redirect it to a URL, which allows you to, you know, send folks after a completion, after the form has been submitted uh, to a URL of your choosing, like a thank you page that's a little bit more detailed about you, your brand, your business, your offers, maybe a product you have, et cetera. Again, ostensibly, this particular person is offering these to his clients uh, who are again on instagram in particular social media clients so you know i'm just going to skip around all this and leave it at the simplest option possible which is just the thank you and there you have it right so this is pretty much done you can make little edits to this stuff here like what you know you, you I mean you have the ability to make some um, you know, different edits to this section here that I'm you know, not going to do. And you have the thank you page below. So this is actually what I will edit, which is what people will see, you know, on the thank you side of the submission. All right. And again, you could do these again. You can make edits to this section right here, which are the, just the different, you know, social media um, elements in this case. So if I wanted to change that to DoorDash, I can. I wouldn't, obviously. Again, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. Now we just want to publish this to a, a live URL.
And as we've covered many times in the past, your options here are published to a card URL, which is what I'm going to do next, published to a custom domain, which is what you want to do for clients generally. Uh, so this would resolve to, you know, Joe, you know, let's say this. Let's say, you know, Ian Ross uh, dot com or whatever. Let's actually go back here. So publish to a card URL, publish to a custom domain. These both these options are, uh, you know, really ideal depending on your use case. I generally use this. Uh, but if you're publishing to a custom domain, that's generally for a project that you actually want branded to you, you know, at, or, or your client, obviously. But for testing like quick landing pages, MVP, minimum viable, uh, you know, projects or products or that sort of thing, I generally just publish to a card because it's super fast and you don't need to actually have a domain, right? Every time you publish to a custom domain, you actually need to buy a domain name or have one available that you want to actually have this uh, resolved to. So you can also save it to a template. You can also save as an online draft. I'm going to say contact Ian. Let's see if that's available. And it is. So contact Ian at card. .co. If you publish to a custom domain, you have to do the DNS settings, but we're done. Let's view the site. And there it is. It's live, right? Name, email, message, submit, get in touch with me, time travel consultant. I didn't change that piece, uh, but there you have it, right? So if you're interested in doing this sort of work for clients, I want you to imagine how many of these you could potentially sell in a day for, you know, let's say how many of these you could do in a day first. Could you do 10? Could you do 100? I mean, that just took me, I don't know, seven minutes, and it's pretty much completed. So the only step required to turning this into a business is simply doing the outreach, you know, identifying your ideal niche or your quintessential client, and then simply going out into the world and presenting something like this as a superior option or alternative to what your folks currently uh, have. Okie doke, teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Thank you as always so much for watching and have a wonderful day. There you have it. Thanks.